Hi loves, today I'm going to be talking all about how to stop fearing judgment from others and just build more confidence in yourself. The other day I had the revelation when I was driving with my boyfriend, a guy behind honked at him. And then later on, somebody is tailing him. At that point, I was like, wow, everybody hates how you're driving today. He started laughing and he was like, what do you mean everyone? That's so exaggerated, it was two people. And I realized that's how I speak to myself. If the roles were reversed, I would be like, everybody is mad at how I'm driving. Everybody hates me. And that's kind of what we tend to do with negative comments. We, one, only can really think about the negative comments and then we internalize it. And in my situation, projected it onto my boyfriend. People don't start off thinking mean things about other people, but it's their history, their experiences that make them accept limiting beliefs and negative comments and then they spread it. I might not even believe something I'm saying. I'll say it because I heard it from someone else. I remember it was my first day in the gym and overheard this experienced weightlifter. She goes, wow, people who hip thrust 135 pounds really think they're strong. From then, I won. I thought I was super weak because I couldn't hip thrust 135 pounds at the time. But I also told my friends the same exact thing. And then I realized, what the heck? I don't even actually believe that statement. Like, the fact that I so quickly picked that up and then spread it was very telling of the power of negative comments. Honestly, they're the loudest comments in the room. Now, I know that when somebody is criticizing me, judging me in a way that's not constructive, in a way that's like just mean, what am I supposed to do with that comment? I know that that is a reflection of their inner state, how they think about themselves and the things that they They've been told growing up. My second perspective on judgment, people want to stay in their comfort zones. We are not comfortable with change. So when somebody in our life acts out of character, even though it could just be them changing and going through experiences that shape them, it makes us confused and a little bit uncomfortable. So that could be where we inflict some judgment in hopes that they stop changing or they revert back to their old ways just because that's how we know them to be. I've had falling outs with friends. I look back and I realized that I wasn't adaptable and accommodating to their necessary changes. Everybody needs to grow and try new things. And that's just a part of life. Especially those closest to you are going to criticize you. They don't want you to change and they're scared of that. Turn it into an honest conversation and be open. If somebody, especially a loved one, is judging you, sit down with them and say, look, you're hurting my feelings. Like I value our relationship and I don't want that to be damaged because of feelings that you're not expressing with me. My last tip for a approaching judgment. Never take advice from somebody who's not in a position that you want to be in or somebody that doesn't know you at all. Because one, somebody that knows you is likely not going to judge you unless what we discussed they're projecting. But example, a person on the internet, then I'm just like, what? You, you don't even know me. So it's clearly not from a place of sincerity. And then the other aspect, never take advice from somebody who isn't in a place that you want to be in. For example, people trying to discourage somebody from joining a certain industry, follow following their certain creative inclinations because the industry is oversaturated or they don't have what it takes. If someone wants to be an artist, we all heard the people saying you shouldn't be an artist, you're gonna struggle, like they don't make money. However, I don't think a real successful artist would ever discourage someone from becoming an artist. They may be honest about it, they may say it's challenging. I would never ever tell somebody not to start a YouTube channel, not to become a personal trainer. I would maybe be honest honest about like the difficulties of it and how you really have to be patient but I would never straight up be like you shouldn't it's oversaturated don't even do it because I'm in it and I know that it's freaking worth it but the people that are not in the industry because who knows I'm guessing that somebody told them as well not to do it or maybe they didn't succeed at it maybe they gave up too soon those are the people that are telling you not to do it and I thought about my loving extended family they've told me not to start my business maybe they really wanted to have a business and somebody told them that they couldn't well now they're telling me that luckily i'm so stubborn if i want to do something like i feel it so strongly that i just have to if you are truly curious you're passionate give it a try on my last note we're all gonna die i don't mean to make that dark but it's true nobody's gonna remember the times that you were trying the times that you failed it's your life not theirs i honestly needed to hear this and be reminded it's really not that serious so let's just wrap up what we talked about today one oftentimes judgment is 
is that person projecting their limiting beliefs that they picked up onto you not actually something that they believe or even aware of two people love to stay comfortable and put you in a box so they might not like if you change and that could be stated through criticism three never take advice from somebody that you don't want to be like or that just doesn't know you and four life is short live your life for you i really appreciate you for listening if you enjoyed this video you'll definitely enjoy this one and until next week see you